Hey guys, Pete here. I've been to Denham Car Boot this morning. Um, I went to pick up some stuff to resell online, uh, try and make a profit. Uh, this video is going up a bit later than normal because uh, after I got back from Denham, I had a shower and I went straight out with some friends for some socialising. Socialising? Do you mean day drinking? Uh, yes, very much so. So, uh, what did I get? Uh, well, I'll show you. So, a um, little bit of a little bit of a, a slightly disappointing day when I first got there this morning. You know, I was really excited to be back to Denham. Uh, I think it's been cancelled previously due to weather. It was on, but then when I got there, there weren't that many people there. Now, Denham is a big car boot fair, but even so, when I got there, like normally, there's like miles and miles of stalls, and it was like maybe half of what it normally is. I think it's just because the weather's like a bit overcast and what have you. Um, I've heard some people saying that like, oh maybe we're getting towards the end of the season. I don't think we are. I think we're like right in the middle of the car boot season. I think the weather's just screwing us up a bit this year. Um, and obviously it's going to be a wet August, so I think they're, they're struggling ahead. Um, I'm certainly going to struggle because I don't have a huge amount of uh, stuff put by. Uh, I don't have the space to have a huge amount of stuff put by, but we'll, we'll just have to manage. Now despite that, I did manage to get some good stuff. So let's show you what I actually picked up. Uh, so this is a Dirt Devil, a little like handheld vacuum jobby. I paid £11 for this, which is probably too much. I have looked it up since and they're going for about £20. So if I make anything, it will just be like a couple of quid. It won't be a, won't be a huge amount once I've done the um, all the fees and what have you. Probably just kind of be raking even. But never mind, it was, uh, it was a bit of an experiment and uh, at least I'm not losing money. I got uh, a VHS player. It's only a Matsui, it's not anything um, exciting. I paid five pounds for this, but it did come with the remote, which is good. It's got a bit of sellotape there, which looks like it's probably holding on the front, which isn't ideal. Fingers crossed. Prayers to the boot fair god. Let's hope this one's actually working. None of the VHS players I've picked up this, this season have been working so far. Not even the Super JVC that I got previously. I've got that listed for spares at the moment. So fingers crossed that this one might actually bloody work. Uh, I've got a little Sony DVD player. Generally, I wouldn't recommend picking up DVD players, but if you are, Sony's probably the only one which I've ever managed to move. Um, these little compact ones are quite good. I paid five pounds for that. I would expect to get 15 back for it. It's come with a remote. Uh, I've got a couple of board games for two pounds each. So I've got a Frustration, maybe like um, a tenner, and i got a Monopoly, maybe like 12 pounds um i used to be able to get like 20 quid for these but i just i can't move them at the moment so i'm gonna i've come right down with the pricing maybe we'll go back up again at christmas time uh if you are going to pick up a frustration i always recommend just checking the old popomatic the little jobby in there just 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 take the time to make sure that it's actually uh popping because if it's not then it's a duffer but yeah got that so um yeah, probably £10 for the Popmatic and uh, about £12 for the Monopoly. I got a bag of Lego. I paid £10 for this lot. Uh, they had two sacks. The other sack was also just loose stuff. The trouble is a lot of it isn't actual Lego. A lot of it is um, unstamped, so it's probably Mega Blocks. So the reason I picked this up was because it's got the Minecraft box set in there. I don't know if you can see that. So I am taking a risk because I've not opened it all up to see, but if, if the majority of the Minecraft is there, that's like a £30 set. So fingers crossed. Um, as for the rest of it, I'll just pick out the stuff which is actually Lego and uh, put that aside and the I'll put aside the stuff which isn't Lego and chuck it in the bin because it's basically worthless. When I say chuck it in the bin, I'll donate it to a charity shop. I'm not going to chuck it away unless uh, things get really desperate. I think this is my... Wee. I think this is my first pickup, which is a Wii Sports Resort title. It's not complete. Um, I opened it up and had a look while I was there. It's got the console. It's got the uh, the uh, it's got the controller. It's got the uh, the the Wii and the uh, the add-on thing, which makes it like a, a Wii Motion Plus. Um, I think it's missing like the the leads and stuff, and I don't think it's got both discs. It's got a sports disc in there. So I mean, the sports disc on its own is worth a tenner. I paid a tenner for that. And it came with a little Wordmaster, uh, these kind of um, little mobile spell checkers and um, crossword puzzles. They can be worth like 10 quid on their own. So definitely get some money between them. But uh, yeah, not, not complete, unfortunately. 
Uh, I paid five pounds to a lady and got a couple of PlayStation controllers. This one is an official kind of uh, DualShock controller. This is like a third party jobby. Uh, that'll be like 10 pounds. That'll be bundled up together with some other stuff. So um, mostly just handy to have to put together with actual PlayStation controllers. Uh, so I managed to get some consoles. Now I saw somebody looking at these the first time I went round and just assumed that they were gone. But when I came around the second time they were still there so I was able to grab them. So I got a Sony PS1, although I haven't actually opened it up to check it's all there, but it feels like it's in there, so that, that should be good. And with that I got a, uh, a PlayStation 2, which has no leads, but it does have 3rd party controller. Oh, actually, this is uh, unfortunately got a problem with this thing, because it's... It's a wireless controller, which is pretty cool, but unfortunately the uh, the thing is stuck. So, you know, I've got a PlayStation plus a base unit for a PS2. And uh, it came with a few games. So I've got uh, 007 Racer. I didn't know they did a racing game. Formula One, which is worth basically nothing. Tony Hawk's. People always like Tony Hawk's. Driver 2. And then Need for Speed Undercover and SSS Tricky. None of those games are huge value. A couple of them might be like a fiver, so it would be worth selling on their own. But I'll probably just bundle them up with the actual consoles, try and make a bit of money. And then uh, with that, they threw in a little Lego set as well, uh, which doesn't look like it's been opened, which is good. This is a Lego Ligut. I don't know what Ligut is, but uh, I'm sure it's very exciting. Uh, but handy to have thrown in as bonus. So for that lot, I paid £40. Um, I would imagine that I would get basically that money back for the PlayStation 1 by itself and then all the rest of it is just uh, money to have as a bonus on top so paying up a little bit but then I've been paying up a little bit all day it's just one of those days um, but still some money to be made this lot is going to be heavy so I basically got I'm not going to lift it all the way up here just because I crippled myself carrying it around the bloody car boot I don't want to be lifting it again I've got a whole IKEA bag full of football programs Uh, so I've not looked at them in detail, but I think that they're kind of from like the late 80s slash, nine, slash through the 90s. So we've got Queen's Park Rangers, a lot of Queen's Park Rangers, and I think there's a load of other clubs underneath. So we've got Arsenal. Do, 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 do. They don't put the bloody dates on them all, which is really annoying. Uh, we've got Hull, Bournemouth, Liverpool, Arsenal. Tottenham Hotspur, like I say, whole Ikea bag full. I thought these were going to be going for more money than they are. Uh, that's 1988. Um, I paid £20 for this lot. Um, having looked at how much football programmes go for, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I thought they'd be going for more money. I will be doing them in bundles as opposed to individually. I think if you sell them individually, people seem to be selling them for like as little as like uh, £2.50. But then even as bundles, people seem to be doing bundles for like only a couple of quid plus postage, which just seems like, what's the point of even selling it? Need to do some more research. Uh, if you know a bit more about football programmes, feel free to chime in. I know Peter Ray, if you're watching, I know you sell football programmes below. Let me know kind of what you what you, what you, you normally price them at. Um, she also threw in a World Cup 1990 kind of sticker album kind of job. It's not complete. If it was complete, it would be like 50 quid. So I'll have to do a bit of research and see what it's like for like uh, a non-complete version. Um, but yeah, not the end of the world. From the same lady, I got uh, a Sega Mega Drive. This is like one of the little emulation jobbies. Uh, I paid £30 for that. Um, I think I looked it up while I was there and it's going for between 50 and 60 And I agreed to pay up a bit more because I thought I was getting a real deal on the, uh, on the football pro programmes. But it looks like maybe I wasn't. So I will make some money. I will kind of like double up on that. But not as much as I thought it was going to. And uh, the football program is a little bit disappointing. But there we are. Uh, that's what I got this morning. Um, not the best morning ever. But not the worst morning ever either. Um, I will be going out tomorrow to go to the A3. Hopefully it's going to be better than last week. I think the forecast is a little bit better. Hoping it's not going to be overcast. Hoping some folk are going to turn up. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. 
always nice to see you. If you want to comment, please feel free to comment below. And uh, yeah, that's everything I had to say today, guys. Bye-bye.